Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown with your morning digital news brief for this Tuesday, May 23rd. Happening today, the school district of Philadelphia is inviting the media to discuss the district's asbestos management program. This year, six school buildings were forced to close because of damaged asbestos. Three of them have since reopened. The district says they are working now on a plan to prepare more alternative places for in-person learning if more asbestos is discovered. Today, we'll also find out who is performing at this year's Wawa Welcome America Festival. We had some big names in Philly last year. Jason Derulo and Ava Max were the headliners. The annual Independence Day Festival starts June 19th this year, and it all leads up to the concert on the Parkway on the 4th of July. And tickets for a lit dinner on Blanc in Atlantic City go on sale today. Last year's event was the first of its kind in New Jersey. It brought 2,500 diners to the boardwalk. The organizers say there will be bands, DJs, roaming performers, and photo booths at this year's event. We have more information for you on how you can get tickets on CBSPhiladelphia.com. And now, let's check that next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Grant Gilmore. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Natasha. A nice morning out there. Finding a few clouds scattered around the area will start to clear out that cloud cover into the afternoon, making for really a nice day. A little cooler along the shore. Temperatures stay in the lower 60s with an easterly wind from 5 to 10 miles per hour. 74 in Philly this afternoon with Lehigh Valley seeing temperatures a little warmer in the middle, if not upper 70s. High pressure is in control, but with it situated to the north and east, that gives us that easterly wind, which will again Again, keep conditions along the shore a little bit cooler. Partly cloudy skies giving way to mostly sunny skies later this afternoon. We'll keep skies mostly clear overnight. We'll start off your Wednesday morning with plenty of sunshine and a quick warm up tomorrow as temperatures make their way back up to near 80. That cold front moving in from the north could bring us a few showers, mainly in areas to the north, with just increasing cloud cover. An isolated shower for Philadelphia overall, though, mainly dry conditions through the day Wednesday into Wednesday night. We cool down into the low 70s on Thursday, warming back into the mid 70s into the holiday weekend, Memorial Day. Still looking at a small chance for a few isolated showers, but the good news, things are trending drier through the weekend. All right, Grant, thank you so much. Remember, you can always get Grant's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That is the latest for now. For the morning digital brief, I'm Natasha Brown. Have a great day, everyone.